Beatrice Ferrante. And you're ready to leave with honor. Whatever your race, whatever your religion, you need Jesus Christ as a person in your life. He's not a creed. He's a person. I don't have to be judged. I don't have to go to hell. I don't have to be lost. My soul has been redeemed. I'm going to hell. But I've got to first repent of my sin and receive Christ as my Lord and my Savior. God is a God of love. He loves you. And if there's one thing I want you to take from this great part when you leave here today, it's this. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. He takes away all that stuff that's been causing the emptiness and the trouble, and He gives you a peace and a joy and a sense of forgiveness that you never knew before. How many of you here tonight are broken? Fed up, but you don't know what to do. You give your life to Christ tonight and you will have supernatural help in breaking those chains that bind you. True repentance does not presume upon the grace and the mercy of God. We can only come when the Spirit of God draws us to Christ. You can trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You've never seen Him when you're naked out. You may not know Him, but He's there waiting for you with open arms to help you. So I'm asking you to quit flying blind. Trust yourself to Jesus Christ. Follow the guidance of His instruments, which is the Word of God, the Bible. God's not waiting to judge you. God's not waiting to condemn you. He's waiting to receive you with mercy, with love, with open arms, and forgive all your sins. You know, there only comes a few times in our lives when Jesus of Nazareth passes by and we have an opportunity like we have tonight to receive Him. You see, people have been praying and the Holy Spirit has been working and many people have already received Christ. And what an hour, what a moment for you to come. You may never have a tomorrow as far as God is concerned. There are people here tonight that may never be alive tomorrow. You may never hear the gospel again like this. Or your heart may not be this tender toward God. Come while you can. And don't put it off. This whole crusade would be worth it tonight if just you came to Christ. Because it would mean rejoicing in heaven. God is waiting to welcome you with open arms. To receive you as you come to him in repentance and faith. I'm going to ask all of you to come and stand in front of this platform and say, by coming, I open my heart to Christ. I want him to come and forgive me and change me and make me the kind of person I ought to be. I want to know that I have eternal life. I want to know if I died, I am going to heaven. You say, why do you ask us to come forward? I just reminded you, Jesus hung on the cross for you publicly. He said, if you're not willing to acknowledge me publicly, I'll not acknowledge you before the Father in heaven. Simple, and yet could be life-changing tonight. And all of heaven will rejoice. You come, we're going to wait on you. Men, women, young people, this is your moment.